Why are clouds created, with water evaporated by forests, so-called green water, the missing link, the hidden treasure for saving our climate? Well in a nutshell, trees make clouds and clouds cool. Let's take a closer look at this elephant in the room. And see how we can reach Paris faster, cheaper, with less risk and more social perspective. First, climate science is warning us for a 4 degree temperature rise, because they don't know the role of clouds. So, what is the puzzle concerning clouds? Do they play, a warming, or a cooling role? State-of-the-art research, collected by the Green Water Cools Collective, shows that forests actively cool the earth as an air conditioner with an umbrella. Forests pump around the coolant liquid, green water. Green water absorbs energy, while being evapotranspired by leaves, when harvesting carbon dioxide, and release it into space, when attaching to organic aerosols, also produced by the forests, to form clouds. And then the created clouds act like an umbrella, which reflect the incoming sunlight back into space. The water returns through rain. The forests are actively cooling our planet. We have ice at the North Pole, because we have forests, that are cooling. The forests are a refrigerator, our air conditioning that runs on sunlight, not the North Pole. The poles passively cool our Earth by reflecting sunlight, as long as the Earth is cool enough. It is crucial that forests are connected to the ocean, so that forests are able to actively attract and pump around water through the biotic pump. The use of fossil fuels made it possible for society to produce more. The increased prosperity led to a rising world population and the increase in greenhouse gases to a higher temperature. Growing prosperity and world population are also the driving forces behind deforestation of high-quality forests, 13 times the size of France since 1880, reducing the cooling capacity via green water and also causing temperature rise. We humans contributed to climate change in two different ways, emissions and deforestation. Research shows that even before the Industrial Revolution, deforestation due to increasing prosperity and forest recovering due to population decline from disease and war caused temperatures to go up and down. The temperature of the earth is a result of the effects of the warming minus those of the cooling processes. The temperature can rise due to a greater effect of the heating processes, but also due to less cooling. When the effect of rising temperature due to lower cooling capacity caused by deforestation is attributed to the temperature effect of more greenhouse gases. This explains not only the high future temperature sensitivity of carbon dioxide in climate models, but also why climate science cannot model the role of clouds and undervaluate the cooling function of nature. When we take into account the cooling role of forests via green water in our climate policy, we can reduce our risks in the first place by creating a free but oh so valuable climate insurance. First, we 100% fully live up to the agreed Paris carbon budget. We then split the climate measures into a pure carbon dioxide technological measures and b investments in nature that not only harvest carbon dioxide during the growth phase, but at the same time add green water cooling capacity. We tilt as many investments as possible too, smart green water investments, and also bring them forward in time, where possible. When the research is correct, we will add more cooling power, and the climate will begin to stabilize, and may even, begin to cool down. In addition to lowering the risk, we not only achieve our goals faster, but also cheaper, because we have to make fewer technology investments, most likely, these are also the more expensive ones. We know the role of carbon dioxide, but it is crucial to start seeing the role of green water and acting on it. Because, when we're right, and we haven't restored nature's cooling capacity, it may be too late to save our civilization, even if we have 100% clean energy tomorrow. By acting on it, the chances of survival are increased, without additional economic or social risk. If we're not right, we have no regrets, because we've stuck to the Paris carbon budget and we've had a risk-free climate experiment. Only not restoring nature has the potential of a huge regret. Can you still look at yourself in the mirror and future generations in their eyes? When, 
you don't act on this knowledge? Not acting on this knowledge, seems unnecessary and irresponsible gambling with our future, and that of future generations. If, you're not sure about the cooling role of green water, please at least challenge the cooling insights, and don't dismiss them for no reason. One new connection, to the right person can make all the difference to save our civilization, maybe it is yours. Please, put this video forward in your network. When you want to know more, or can help us spread the knowledge, please visit the website or send an email to connect at greenwatercools.org. Any help is welcome. You are also welcome to join the Green Water Cools LinkedIn group and we are looking forward seeing you at our events. Ask not what Earth can do for you, ask what you can do, for Earth.